So we're going to start out by mixing up some of our Cajun and Creole seasoning together. And I think I did a tablespoon of each on a half a pound of shrimp. Add in a couple of turns of olive oil to your preheated pan and throw the shrimp in there. Then we're going to start slicing up some andouille sausage and I used half of that. Once the shrimp has cooked up completely, you're going to take it out, remove it onto a plate and add in your sausage just to crisp up the casing. So I only had to cook the shrimp probably just a couple of minutes each side. I'm just flipping it over here and then I am removing it to a separate plate so I can get my sausage going. Our sausage is fully cooked. We're just crisping up the casings here. And by the way, make sure you have your pot of water fully boiling and ready to go and just add in your pasta when that's ready. Now we're going to start on our sauce and cut up a half of an onion and then about a half to a quarter of a bell pepper. It really just depends on how much you want in your sauce. And I just cut mine into thin strips. And now that it looks like our sausage is done, I'm just pulling this out of the pan and setting that aside with the shrimp. And then I'm gonna add a little more olive oil to the pan and add in my onions and red bell pepper and saute those until they start becoming soft. And while that's sauteing, I'm going to kind of loosen up those brown bits on the bottom. That's where all the flavor is. And next I'm gonna add in about a tablespoon more of Creole seasoning, a tablespoon of paprika, and it was supposed to be about a tablespoon of thyme. And then just give that a good mix. And then you can add in another teaspoon of salt. Um, probably wouldn't add in that much salt again. I think it was already salty enough, but. Next, we are going to add in about a teaspoon of brown sugar and then mince up two to three garlic cloves and we're gonna add that in for about a minute to saute. Next, I'm adding in a half of a cup of diced tomatoes in their juice. Then I'm adding in three quarters of a cup of chicken broth. And give that a stir. We wanna bring that up to a boil and then add in about a tablespoon of Worcestershire Shire sauce. I know I did not say that right. Um, I just eyeballed it, uh, probably about a tablespoon or so of that. And finally, I added in about a half of a cup of heavy cream and then added my cooked pasta back into the pot. You're gonna toss that all around. And at this point, I'm going to start adding back in my sausage and my shrimp. And then I just decided to add a little bit more heavy cream uh, to make that just a little creamier sauce and temper down some of that Cajun and Creole spice. And at the very end, I just tossed on some fresh Parmesan cheese and added some fresh parsley. And then I did also serve up some garlic bread on the side. And my husband really seemed to love this dish. I knew we were definitely in the mood for some pasta, but I didn't just want regular old spaghetti or even traditional lasagna, although those are both really good dishes as well. But this was a great way to kind of spice up a pasta dish. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.